CSET Biology TCP. This is going to be a new approach to our multiple choice program. And what we're going to be giving you is snippets of our marathon program, where we're trying to cover at least 20 years worth of multiple choice paper. No persons might say, why 20 years? Um, why not 20 years? If you have not yet liked, share, or subscribe, it's definitely time to do so. And when you subscribe, remember to click the notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there's a new publication. You want to also like the video as much as it's possible so it will be added to your playlist. You want to also share so you'll be getting more content from us. Be reminded it's not too late to join our classes for biology or HSB. Or you might so decide to join our marathon. We are going to be giving you past papers from 2009 up to 2022. Follow us for more, and you want to watch this video to the very end, as we're going to be having playlists for biology, human and social biology, and agriculture. Let's hop right into the content. This is the 2009. May, June, Human and Social Biology paper. Which of the following is true for bacteria? If they are pathogenic, that would have been virus. They require a host, that would have been virus. They have a nucleus containing, that is not true. So our answer here is going to be B. For the greater part, I'm just going to be looking at the answers. So pause the screen if you need to look at the many options. Item two to three refers to the following diagram which demonstrates osmosis. So if we look there, there's a viscin tube which takes on the place of a, a selectively permeable membrane. And if we observe here that there's a greater concentration of solute within the viscin tube than there is within the beaker, now the main function of the viscin tube is to act as a partially permeable membrane, pretty much like the cell membrane would have. Now, a permeable membrane would have been a membrane that is pretty much like the cell wall. So it allowed things to move pretty much easily. Non-permeable membrane would not allow anything to go in. And plastic bag, I don't even know what that there was there. Which of the following process occurs after several hours? The water is going to be moving into the viscin tube from the beaker. So D is going to be our answer. And remember that water is always going to be moving from a place where it is in high concentration to a place where it is. Number four, when we breathe in, oxygen from the alveoli enters the blood in the capillaries surrounding the alveoli. By which of the following process does this occur? It's going to be by diffusion. Number five, in which of the following parts of a body would an inch joint be found? Elbow, wrist, shoulder, knee. That's going to be our elbow and knee. So C here is our. Number six, the function of the marrow of long bones in the body is to make red blood cells. So D, we chose as the item seven to eight refers to the following diagram of a forearm of a and bean. Now we are tasked with, in answering items seven to eight, match each item with one of the options lettered structure above. Each option may be used once, more than once, or not at all. A tendon of insertion of a bicep. Remember now, insertion is the place that you move from more often. An origin is where you actually started from. It does move. So if you are from the rural area, that is always going to be rural. It's not going to change. And if you were supposed to move to the urban area, you might live here today and live there tomorrow. So that's where you were inserted. So you must move. As it were with the bones and the muscle, the point of insertion is the point that moves most. 
and the point of origin, either it does move or it seldomly moves. So here, a tendon of insertion of a bicep is actually at C, and the tricep origin is actually at B. Let's answer this question. Which of the following is the response of a nerve impulse at T? Now, if we're having a intermediate neuron, what type of reflex arc this is? Now, it relays, it is relayed from the sensory nerve to the motor nerve. So what we want to know, which of the following is response of a nerve impulse at T, right? At T, a nerve impulse at T is going to be relayed from the sensory neuron, that is at the neuron at the top here, and it is going to be relayed to the motor neuron here for some action to it. Whichever following can be found now, at you, you are going to find gray matter. The gray matter is usually the center here for the spinal reflex, and in the cranial reflex, it's on the outside. The condition known as long sightedness can be corrected by the use of convex lens. Estrogen is mainly responsible for. Preparing the uterus wall for implant. 13 to 14. Item 13 to 14 refers to the following options. Red blood cell, white blood cell, platelets, plasma. Involved in blood clotting. That's going to be C, plasma. Carry oxygen. That is going to be A, red blood cell. Which of the following describes the function of a pacemaker of a heart? It regulates the heart rate all right you want to make sure that you pause the video if you need to to read the other options which of the following does not affect breathing rate your diet does not affect breathing rate your diet is pretty much what you eat 17 the function of lymphocyte is to produce antibodies to give immunity 18 which is the correct sequence of steps in the process of mouth to mouth resuscitation? This is going to be an easy one. It's going to be number two first, then number one, number four, and then number three. Makes it A or answer. 19. Which of the following structure is are not part of a respiratory system? It's going to be the esophagus. It's connected to the stomach. And the buccal cavity, so it's not a part of the respiratory system. So D, zero answer. For number 20, which of the following substance found in cigarette smoke is addictive? It's going to be nicotine. Carbon dioxide there being the most abundant greenhouse gas. Carbon monoxide affixes readily to the blood uh, hemoglobin, thus preventing or reducing the amount of oxygen. And tar there trapping the ciliated cell, thus causing the individual to cough as there is as it causes an additional buildup of mucus. This is where we'll stop for this paper. However, you can find the rest of the paper in our marathon. You want to join us for that? We're going to be here Saturday, Sunday, and Monday morning. Until we next meet, please be reminded to like, share, and of course subscribe. You want to also click the notification bell and select all so you'll be notified publication you want to also dial the number on screen so that you can get information for our so it's eight one eight seven six two three five zero five that number can come in handy help new call WhatsApp no matter only if you are interested. 
all other concerns must be left. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today.